Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're having a beautiful day so far and thank you so much for joining me today for another art video. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing another one of my motivational mini podcast episodes for artists that I've been creating to share over on IGTV. I have been sharing them for the past few months, so if you like this one, make sure to go and check them out over on Instagram. I'm gonna be leaving my Instagram account down below for you in the description box in case you'd like to check more out but anyway I know that being an artist can be incredibly challenging because of a variety of different reasons and I really do believe that because of this we have to stay mentally strong mentally resilient I do believe in continuing to work on our mental health, to continue educating ourselves on things that might be contributing to us feeling certain ways or thinking certain ways, and start maybe implementing certain strategies into our day-to-day -day lives that are going to help us cope with certain situations a lot better or just enjoy the process of growth a lot more. I know I struggled with a very low self-esteem for a very long time and I've struggled with anxiety for probably over half my life. If I hadn't started learning about all of these things and started giving importance to my mental and physical health, I honestly wouldn't be here right now. I wouldn't have started my own art business. I wouldn't have started my own YouTube channel. I wouldn't have the tools and the confidence to put myself out there in this way. And so because of all this and because of the growth that I've personally had, and I know how much this has positively influenced um, my own artistic trajectory and what I've achieved so far, I want to make sure that I'm not only creating and sharing content that will help people continue developing their technical drawing and painting skills, but also their mindset. And if anything, if this is just a reminder for you guys to not see every failure as a sign that you're not meant to be an artist, to not allow that negative criticism or that lack of support to stop you from pursuing your dreams. And just as a reminder for you, you know, that you're not alone, that we all struggle through this and that both growing your skills and growing your name as an artist, it takes time patience and grit and courage and so if these messages are able to help someone out there or just simply serve as some kind of reminder not to give up i will consider these a success even with the challenge through continuing to pursue our true passions and interests we continue to become the person that we're truly meant to become and we're able to bring in the light into the world that we've always been meant to bring. And it's through really embracing our individuality. And as we're going to see today, the point that we're personally currently at, that we're able to both positively impact the lives of people around us through our work, but also reach higher levels of happiness and fulfillment as we're working to become that artist that we're wanting to become. So do stay tuned for more of these coming up in the future. For now, let's get into this podcast that I want to share with you today. This one I titled, Two Things to Let Go of for Artistic Progress. I hope you enjoy. The more I give myself permission to live in the moment and enjoy it without feeling guilty or judgmental about any other time, the better I feel about the quality of my work. Wayne Dyer The other day, I was thinking about how deeply unfortunate it is that so many of us waste so much time rehashing the past and fretting about the future instead of living in and enjoying or trying to enjoy the here and now. This relates to life in general, of course, but if you think about it, it can also relate to the process of creating every single new art piece that we set out to work on, as well as to our art journey in general. If you're an artist or have been working on your art for any amount of time, you can probably relate to the feeling of sitting in front of an empty canvas or sheet of paper, frozen with anxiety and self-doubt, unable to begin. 
We condemn ourselves for past mistakes or less than stellar results we've achieved and automatically doubt our capabilities before even allowing ourselves the opportunity to try. This would be a perfect example of us reliving the past or judging ourselves because of things that have happened in the past. Sadly, so many people out there don't ever get started with something that they know they really want to do and they know would bring them immense happiness and fulfillment because they're stuck reliving those either directly or indirectly related disappointments again and again and again. And these disappointments can take the form of actual experiences that you've gone through in which maybe you made a mistake or you think you failed at something, but disappointments can also come in the form of other people's comments or remarks, either directly or indirectly related to your work, which make you want to close up and not even want to keep trying. Aside from this, when we do allow ourselves to finally get into the creation of a new piece, Instead of enjoying the process, enjoying laying down those brush strokes, the colors intermixing, the smells, the sensations, the thoughts and realizations that pop up along the way about ourselves as artists and the way that we want to do things, we're instead thinking about the perfection that we want to achieve in the final piece. We make a small mistake and at times that's enough to make us want to give up altogether because the outcome is not going to be quote unquote perfect or how we have to produce perfect results because this is what we're going to be sharing on social media and we're really looking for other people's approval or likes as if perfection even exists. And this, my friend, would be fretting or stressing out about the future instead of staying in the here and the now and enjoying the process of art making. And a huge issue that also relates to all of this, which a lot of us struggle with, is comparing ourselves to other artists. I will be making a separate video on this in the future, but this also has to do with not embracing the point we're currently at. A lot of us feel like we are behind, like we're never going to reach the point that other artists are at that we admire. And this in itself, just constantly comparing ourselves and feeling behind is obviously not going to allow us to be present when we are creating. It's not going to allow us to enjoy and it's going to put an extra stress and anxiety on us. So many of us are so anxious with instant gratification and we're expecting our progress to come at lightning speed in, I don't know, less than a year that we have been consistently working on our art. And we compare ourselves to these artists who have been at it for years and years. This is not only not helpful, but it also kind of discounts the immense effort, persistence, grit, and courage that these other artists have put in to get to where they're currently at. The progress and happiness we'd reach if we weren't constantly standing in our own way. I mean, can you imagine how much more we'd enjoy drawing and painting if we threw ourselves into the process without any self-judgment and without any unrealistic expectations? But instead, going into the creation of a new art piece with the sole purpose of curiously exploring our passions, enjoying the learning process, and uncovering more about who we are as artists, this would be living in the present. I say, let's stop standing in the way of our own achievement, guys. Let's stop overthinking every single little thing, giving those things that happen unnecessary meanings, and just get to learning, exploring, creating, and growing. By releasing that pressure that most of us just put upon ourselves and actually just embracing the point that we're currently at in our journeys and enjoying those moments of creation, we're gonna be able to stay much more consistent and this is gonna lead to much faster progress. This will allow us to make art creation a habit which will lead us to gaining momentum, and this is gonna help us make deeper and faster progress as artists. So you right there listening to this, just rest assured that you're exactly where you personally are meant to be in your artistic journey. Realize that life is happening for you and not to you. 
and that you have your very own unique and special path to continue uncovering that cannot be compared to anyone else's. Keep focusing on the present, on visualizing what it is that you want for yourself so that you can keep putting one foot in front of the other and stop holding on to things in your past that might be keeping you stuck or use random things, random situations that might or might not even happen in the future, which by the way, usually those things we fear don't happen 99.9% of the time as excuses not to put in the work, not to take action to reach those dreams. Everyone, that is gonna do it for today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed it, that you learned something new or that you found it inspiring. If you did like it, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up because it really helps support the work that I am doing here on YouTube and allows more artists to get to know about my channel. Thank you so very much for watching today. I really, really appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments for me, make sure to leave them down below in the comment section. I always love hearing from you guys and read every single one of your comments. Don't forget to subscribe so that I can see you next week for another video and stay inspired. Bye guys.